Hail my movie maniacs, it's that time it is I, and yes, today we're sending our way back machine to 1944 and looking at the film called Gaslight. Now, Gaslight is brought to us by director George uh, Cukor and basically gives us the story of Paula Alquist, who ha had a tragedy in her family. Her aunt, a beautiful singing voice, a very talented performer, was killed. And uh, so it was very traumatic for her. So Paula ends up moving out of London and heading to Italy, where she practices with the maestro who taught her aunt. And they're hoping that uh, Paula has the same vocal skills as her aunt did. Well, Paula finds out she doesn't quite have the vocal skills as her aunt does, but she does find true love in the form of Gregory Anton. The two fall in love, get married, and decide to go back to her uh, childhood home finally to kind of face her demons and and live together in her childhood uh, home where she grew up in London. Well, while she's there, she's starting to find that she's starting to forget things and, and losing things and, and forgetting conversations she's having with her husband. According to her husband, she's starting to lose her mind. But things aren't exactly on the level and there's something a little bit fishy here going on and we see how those events play out for her and find out whether or not she is actually losing her mind or is there some other nefarious plot going on oh folks gaslight there's there's classic films and this is definitely one of them now i don't remember ever seeing it so when my wife mentioned it to me a, a couple of times i'm like yeah sure i'll watch it she's like it's got angela lansbury and i'm like ah, okay and it's got ingrid bergman and i'm like all right, now you sold me. So we got into it. I watched it, and man, did this film catch me. Ah, it's just so beautifully performed, and it really is Ingrid Bergman who steals the show in this movie. Uh, and you can see why she got her first golden statue for this role as Paula Alquist. She does fantastically as just this bright, bubbly girl at the beginning of the film, and just watching her descent uh, into Crazy Town really is just spot on perfect. I mean, she gets these little facial nuances and and these little uh, things. Going going on and just the way she delivers the line everything about this role is perfect i it just it didn't cap it captivated me and then stared me and I couldn't uh, stop watching it. I was on the edge of my seat just wanting to see how this story played out. Now there's other great performances in here as well. Charles Boyer as Gregory Anton, her uh, manipulative husband. Uh, he just plays a great character you love to not love. You, you know, you got uh, Jason, uh, Joseph Cotton in here who plays Brian Cameron, a guy who's starting to investigate things. He thinks things are kind of fishy and not on the level with uh, good old Gregory and Paula and so he starts digging deeper into into this story, into this case, and I loved his character. Now you remember Joseph from Soylent Green. He does a good job. You've got Dame Mae Witty in here, very talented and veteran actress in here as the nosy neighbor. And as I mentioned, a uh, very young Angela Lansbury in here as uh, Nancy, the new maid that's hired by the husband. Fantastic performance by her as well. It's a great script. It's an engrossing script. It's one of those that reveals some things to the audience about certain cast members, but the most of the other characters aren't aware that's going on. So you're kind of like, no, you, you can't be doing this. And so that's what helps also yes, and stare you because the audience is more in on it than most of the rest of the characters. And so that, that puts you up ahead. And it's just smart movie making. Folks, it, it's really tough to find a modern a wide release film that is made as creatively and edge of your seat as this one with some stellar performances. Ingrid Bergman earning her first of three gold statues uh, from her career and you can see why. Just, ah, just a captivating performance that definitely steals the show and makes you just engrossed in this film and really hope that everything turns out in the end for her character. You feel sympathy, you feel sad, you feel her insanity come right through the screen and grab you and and that's the type of performance she puts in in this, this movie so if you're a fan of just good films come check out gaslight if you have not already uh, it is a classic to be sure and you can see why it got five stubs from me on this oh you know in not all classics are great but this is one of the great classics and that about do it for us here at the final cut till next time folks keep that ticket stop Thank you.